Alright guys, it's January 18th, 2019, 6.42 p.m. You know what? I just made a Costa Rica video and I think I forgot to say the dates. Oh! So I did this cartoon about um, uh, Donald Trump uh, with Nancy Pelosi asking him to postpone his State of the Union speech in front of Congress. But, you know, he can go ahead and do it from the Oval Office in a letter like they used to do back in the olden times, olden days. Um, and Trump reacted like a little baby and suspended her from going on a secret trip to Afghanistan with other members of Congress. And then he totally made it public, endangering everybody if they were going to go, uh, <laughs> you know, from uh, different means other than, than a government flight. Uh, uh, Trump responded because he, he's a petty child, you know. Pelosi's move w was really the smart one, even though it put pressure on him, probably to end the shutdown because he loves, loves going to a room where people clap and you walk in like you're Elvis, you know. Um, so, but Trump's was just totally bitter and everything. Uh, Nancy's, Pelosi's made sense because why give a State of the Union speech about how strong our union is when there's a, sh a shutdown? It doesn't make any sense. And... A president is not required to give the speech before Congress. He's supposed to deliver it. Uh, whether that's a letter, you know, he can do it on a YouTube, you know, or whatever. Um, the first president who started giving a State of the Union speech address was uh, Woodrow Wilson. Um, the first one to even start calling it State of the Union was uh, Franklin Roosevelt, FDR. And other than Hoover, after FDR, every president has done it at least once. Uh, the last time the president did not do it was Jimmy Carter's last year in office. He had just lost to Reagan and he was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'll send it with a letter or something. Uh, I think he did that. Um, so, bump, bump, bump. Um, and here's another interesting thing. I Normally, I don't tweet out my cartoon ideas. But I tweeted this one out, you know, uh, like like it's like Trump's not not a lot, uh, where he's not invited to Republicans' funerals like John McCain, Barbara Bush, um, and when he went to George H. W. Bush's funeral, nobody wanted him to speak. Um, so I tweeted that out, and then right after I did that, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done it. Someone is either going to steal it, or now I want to do it even though the whole world has already heard it. But then I thought, hey, my clients haven't heard it. A lot of my readers didn't hear it, um, but they haven't seen it in a cartoon form, so I'm gonna do it in the cartoon form. And then while I was drawing this, I thought, I need to put some hamburgers in there. Hamburger, hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers. <laughs> Arrow gives me shit about the way I pronounce do dossier. Dossier, dozier, dozier, dada be do be seizures. Um, but, uh, I like saying hamburgers. Hamburger. Ariel, is that how you pronounce hamburger? 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 We can all discuss that. Um, and I really, 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 really enjoyed drawing Stephen Miller. I thought he was appropriate for this cartoon because he is the ghoul who will be writing Trump's um, racist speech. Baby Goebbels. I like to call him Baby Goebbels. It's, it's cute. It's endearing. It's because I like him so much. It's a term of affection. <laughs> term of endearment. Um, who wants some shout-outs? Let's do some shout outs. Uh, we're gonna do some shout outs. Get some names to shout out. Ariel said, sorry for missing your interview, Clay, because I did this interview. I went to the gym. I got a bet going with a buddy of mine, and he's getting sneaky. You gotta go as much as possible. Okay. Glad you're going to the gym, I guess. Well, if you have a membership, you definitely should go. Don't be like most people, like I've done in the past, join and you never go. Uh, and Errol, yes, he did make me spastically sneeze with laughter. And yes, it is possible. I, I, though I didn't know somebody could actually make me sneeze without throwing like pepper in my face. Uh, but yeah, he did. Or make me smell ketchup. <laughs> I just like shivers thinking about the smell of ketchup. Uh, one of the housemates here, he fills this whole plate up with ketchup and he just leaves it in the sink, doesn't rinse it off, and I walk in the kitchen and I smell it before I even enter the room. It's just, uh. Anyway, I just 
I went off on a little tangent there. I really, really don't like ketchup. Um, then Arrow. This this is going to be good. Uh, right. Uh, how dare a commercial imply men can do better than they're currently doing? But, you know, men are perfect and shouldn't seek to improve themselves? Sarcasm. Look, in the end, it's a freaking commercial. They're trying to sell their products to feminists, men, and women. Yes, women can and do use Gillette products. Yes, we understand that. I do. Uh, I was married. I had sisters. I have sisters. I kind of say had like in the past. It's <laughs> because they don't talk to me. Uh, and then she says they do a commercial encouraging bullying, bullying if they thought it would sell more razors. You know, kind of like uh, beer commercials. Um... Ariel also wrote, I haven't seen conservatives freak out this much since they saw a young AOC dancing. So, last week, she was quoting me. And yeah, last week, they're still freaking out about AOC. It's just always something different. Something, oh my god, she said something. I think I saw something with Borowitz where Fox News was going to just create a whole new cable channel to talk about uh, Ocasio-Cortez. And Robert Quatino is, is here. Hi, Robert Quatino. And he says, uh, where's the time? Uh, I did not see the commercial. I had not read, although I saw the headlines about the butt hurting of haters. Glad that you summed it up for me. I get less exasperated hearing the details from you rather than reading them in articles from Memor Mimi or Randall. All right. Uh, Akenta says, enjoy the cartoon. Not sure what the five stars on the guy's crotch are for. Because he has hemorrhoids. Remember, he's jumping up and down. That's why there's five stars underneath his crotch, underneath his butt. Um, think about it, man. Maybe Akenta's never had a hemorrhoid. Um, don't want to know. Don't tell me. Akenta also says, you know me too well. 38 razors. She count my razors. Zero MAGA hats. I forgot MAGA hats. And zero Nike shoes. I didn't notice any razors that were not colored in. Thank God. Why would they wear Nike shoes? They're butt hurt. Um, and, uh, and she, uh, Kenta also glanced at Darren Bell's YouTube page, which is awesome. And, uh, da, 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 da. his first video was almost two hours long. I did not know that. And, but look again, there are others a lot shorter and she would check some out. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot TJ. Sorry. He says, I didn't see any outrage from the dancing AOC or the Gillette, Gillette ad. Really? Trust me. It's out there. He saw Steve Kelly's tune. That's outrage, dude. <laughs> It was, it was pretty funny and indicative of the response from the majority of men. Steve Kelly, Kelly's cartoons are not funny unless you look at a uh, 1955 sense of humor. Sorry, Steve. Um, I mean, he did like three misogynistic cartoons in a row. Go, go look at his Go Comics page. Uh, Steve Kelly, go check it out. They're real. And TJ also says, it's funny, I switched to a safety razor a couple years ago. Wait, why are we talking about razors? Uh, shape, uh, Dundee, uh, he's talking about Rock and Roll Dundee shaving and, uh, and he got... Uh, and he says, what's more masculine than shaving with a bowie knife and that crocodile Dundee? He got the girl literally in real life by being a man. Probably by also being a rich actor there, TJ, you know. Because um, he he did marry his co-star, which, of course, they got divorced. I wonder if they got divorced because, by him being a man. Um, and then TJ also says, the only toxic men are the wimpy dudes out there. They can have their expensive eight-bladed nonsense from Procter and Gamble. Whatever. I'm not getting into a debate about razors since I hardly ever use one. Not because of a stylistic thing, it's just that I'm freaking lazy. I do wish I had trimmed the beard though before I did that video. I do. And cut the hair, but damn it, we did it in the middle of winter. He caught me like in June, looking a little bit short up, shorn up. Alright, click the red button and subscribe, leave a comment, you get a shout out. I will see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye!